It's not just a game. Darkness. Hunting, they're fairly low cooldown, uh, but the reward is so big for the you know, opportunity cost of that time, the small timing window. Wow, gets a flash there. Or JJ losing a flash. Now this could be a nice fight in the mid side. They find the root onto Scion, but he's tanky. Goes back onto this uh -oh. new Look at the damage. Since Karen's already gone, a big knock for the back side, but there's nowhere for Zazo to go. It's going to be Team Liquid. 5v4 for Baron. Fenskeren gets found out, takes some damage, a knock up out of the jungle though. It's a low health experience, but there's a nice knock up in for Brahm. Here comes the re-engage as Sneaky's TP comes in, but first Fenskeren will die. Team looking at a 5v4, their back line is safe and they're ready to keep fighting. Middle inhibitor is gone. Top link gonna fall to the minions as well. They are losing their base. 40 seconds left on this Baron. Team Liquid trying to make it work. And they're gonna try the 4v4. It's low health bar, so of they pushed away. How tanky is Urgot? And it's not tanky enough. Jensen is unstoppable. Oh my goodness. They rotate towards the top side either. So they know that he's going to be on the bottom side of the map here in a second. Most likely going for the scuttle, which everybody is here. This is the scuttle scuffle teams. And like League of Legends is incredibly codependent. So when you have something happen, like a flash being burned on your top laner, you have to section off the map as a jungler and then go to the top side and look at this. Oh, on shot in. Quick kill onto X Smithy. Poor JJ may try to get in with Jensen. Ring of Frost goes down, but it doesn't hold them long enough as the Twickness goes in for a charm. Wiggly now should be going down here. Ignites there and double it finds the last auto attack. And they have stick save, but two can't be fighting three. Well, here. Fallen the rest TP. of the cavalry TP. comes in, a dissonance in for Power Beaver and Wiggly to get that speed. The teleport comes in. Will he have to flash over the wall to get the cannon all at the end? He's trying to go a long, long way around. And TL has four stacked on the top side. Jensen gets in with a nice roll. All in Keep himself alive. Hex tech, but it's not going to hit. He doesn't have the distance. Wiggly in the pit with 2v1 now. Fear beyond death drags him under. And Team Liquid, I got to say, Core JJ has been impressing me over and over again in this game. It seems like those tiny things where it's like, man, he must be so lucky getting away every single time. But look at that, the battle dance into the wrap everybody oh. up with the charm, then he flashes away, and then the root there, keep him away. The fear after impact gets the execute, and then Jensen barely gets out here. Ignite is on him. There's the first shield, waits for it to expire. There's the second shield, keeps Jensen alive being that tank so everybody can organize again. He's there for the initiation and he still wants more of it. A nice charm, a good hit, and Power of Evil is down. Fallen Bandit doing what he can in a 3v1, but it's not gonna be enough as he also gets put in a shredder. Turret's gonna be taking out some turrets as Wiggly goes in hard on Doublet. They want the back line. He's gonna get all the help from Core JJ and Doublet stands tall. A few more attacks, and there it is. Fallen Bandit has finally found his mark. Is it enough though? Enough Team Liquid members still in the base, and CLG has to turn tail and start heading the wrong way. Stixa is in there with X Smithy, but he's gonna take enough turret oh, shot. That'll be X Smithy going down. It's heated up, but not enough. TL is too hot on this one. Wiggly wants to go in on double lift. <laughs> Impact dive, but so does Wiggly. They gotta go the opposite ways. Which way did he go, George? A nice shockwave coming in from Power of Evil, but it's not enough damage in the beginning. It's all front end burst. He can get onto Baron. Impact He's gonna get launched on by Ander, but now he's gonna get knocked up after the feathers. Aiden double lift cleanses off the ulti from Sejuani. And now it's Mithy looking for the flank. Kicks back into the wall. There's the combo follow up by Core JJ as Bang is gonna get awfully low in this exchange. Here's Jensen though. He's oh, gonna move his way over. Almost gets the kill as Jensen. He's forced to flash to try and take it down and the rest of TL still up and ready to fight. The top up there from Sunday will buy time. Right, that is kind of, I think, where Akali gets a lot more complex. Oh, here we go. Glacial Fissure coming down. Piglet going to be in some trouble. Wild growth TP. come out. But it's going to be only wild enough for Team Liquid to grab the kill anyway. Hootie making his way into the bottom lane, looking for revenge here. Yet again, Devil is going to be taken very low, almost taken down. Hootie taken very low now as well. He's going to grab himself the kill onto the enemy AD carry. It's actually Lyra picking it up. Core JJ barely getting away. Hooney walking away with just a sliver of health. We'll see if TL try to force the issue. They may just look for the fight. Here we go. Jensen popping the ghost blade, looking to go in here. Lyra's going to be taken very low. Hooney dropping the equalizer down now into the river. Still low HP on the clutch. Gaming jungler Hooney trying to get himself away. Will be able to escape the chains. But health bars are hurt on the side of Clutch Gaming. The equalizer's been expanded, but the catch is down onto Impact, and that's a pretty big pick. Five versus four now for the side of Clutch Gaming. Impact has not been able to contribute anything. He's already been killed Jensen. off, but now Clutch Gaming will be cut to pieces. Jensen will end their world, and that is a double kill. Over to the mid laner from Team Liquid. Oh, it's scary. Top lane tier two being targeted now as well by the side of Team Liquid. Core JJ getting himself in a fight. One versus three, two redemption. Called down as Piglet's gonna be in some trouble. Vulcan also taken very low. The Clutch Gaming AD carry's already been popped. 
Demonte will grab a return kill onto a Smithy as Lyra will go down the double kill over to Impact before he falls. It is a two for three, a triple kill for Impact. Demonte and Hooney looking to clean up Jensen and Core JJ if they can find them. And the number one thing I look for to make a team better than good is a clean finish. With this lead, Team Liquid should end the game on this Baron. Let's see if they can find it. Nick Smithy will be kept alive. Good teamwork there, making sure that the jungler doesn't get taken down. Here Hooney's comes Jensen. Be it is so much damage coming out from double him. Jensen wants to go into the middle of everyone, able to find a little bit of damage. But Demonte stays alive with the stasis. Core JJ having to go into it himself to keep himself alive. Demonte brought down. And now Impact. Let's see. Is he able to do anything against Solo here? He does have the rank three ultimate. Up in the mid, coming down the river. Uh -oh. Abyssal Voyage is already activated. They're jumping down, and they're already there to party. It's Solo's always gonna a try to get himself out. There's the ultimate base gate there for her. Acceleration gate for everybody as Doublelift's gonna get forward with that gauntlet and start the slow, start the tags, and that's going to be it. There's a sail on Solo in the bot lane. Leave him alone. Someday on the top side, though, he might get dead. Someday in some trouble. Core JJ and Doublelift looking to find the damage. The tongue seals his fate. Now finds himself uh -oh. one versus one against Someday, and right as I sing his Raises, he finds himself in some trouble. There comes those stopwatches I'm talking about. Flash into the bower for the save, and Devil cleans them up. It's just a hole in the wall you can barely see yeah. through. Get it's, your drill out. Yeah, you're going to need a drill to try to make something out of this, because 100 Thieves are just in a spot where there's 7,000 gold behind. Team Liquid has complete control over the area. Onda will need to make some sort of a miracle steal onto the Baron buff. Impact looking to block him away. Core JJ devours the enemy jungler, wards the lantern, and seals oh. his fate. Core JJ, that man is a monster. He does it all. Man, he got, he's got to push the crab the other way. Oh, oh. Battle is beginning. Actually, oh. Meteos is going to have a really good time here. Yeah, his crown dipping in. That's like Smithy getting out of there. Already had to burn the flash. Now the bubble oh. through the terrain. One drowsy boy and a dust free against Meteos. First blood. Core JJ with the roam will get the counter kill. The plays Ooh, they're going on for the another one. Really good. But Darshan's coming in now. Sounds off the Orn horn. Going after Jensen, seeing if maybe they can find the damage. Stopwatch comes out. Wiggly wants to be there to find the slam into the ground. The True Shot Barrage comes through. It's Core JJ making the save. No. Left the wall. Taxi no. service. Get an Uber, Jensen. Go home. Oh, no, never mind. They take him out anyway. Yeah, but it's not going to work. And that means because there's multiple bodies in the bottom side, it's Wiggly oh. blown up here in the mid lane. Taken very low. Kept alive just barely. Biofrost nearly going to be killed here now as well. Core JJ grabbing the kill on that one. Goes in the thick skin. The stasis also keeping him alive. Redemption is channel. Core JJ barely gets himself out. This is how he came back on the Jace last time Team Liquid played it. When he yep. plays it just PvE against her, it's Jensen. PvP though here for Liquid from a chase on in, still being slowed down. Jensen got the shield. Oh! Oh! What a play! Here comes Stopwatch, here comes Core JJ. And would you believe it? They've got a taste for Licorice. They've all shown up. And down goes the top oh, laner. Man. While the turret falls as well. 4v1. The poor Poppy will die, but the fight might just continue. But Jace are on the back line. This could be a slaughter. Here comes Impact looking for a bit more. The ult used. This keep on a couple more seconds, but watch out. It's 5v3. They're going to find yet another kill. Trading it back, though. It's a four for one long term. Control Ward comes across. C9 might look for the play core today on the wings, waiting to ult for himself. Health bar is getting a bit low. After shock trigger, then turns off. Three doesn't help, and the ward is gone. But C9 can see inside the pit a little bit. Bit of damage coming through. No one's gonna land just yet. But they've caught him out. Zazel is gone already. Now bottom lane push determines who gets this scuttle crab. Whose bottom lane can push up the minion waves and get it first? Tristana. Oh, oh contracts. contracts. On to Smithy, able to find that combo there. Auto Got attack him. after auto attack. What? Contracts looks to go after this one. He needs a little bit more damage. Yep. Gonna get the dragon strike. Oh! First blood over to Contracts. Core JJ will look to stop him here. The Winter's Bite comes through for Ole. He needs to block the tongue, but he won't do it. Core JJ. And they're just looking for an area to try and capitalize. Knock up, taunt, ignite a lot of damage. Oh, oh back, my. But Core JJ can't flash him away. Big damage, another knock up, flash, and he'll use. But there is the re-engage. Galio cannot get out. Broken Blade, right there. There's the Empower damage output, Broken Blade, gonna try to get that kill, not gonna have it here. But Righteous Glory is in, they're gonna find themselves the pullback. Is this the kill? The stuns come in, and the top laner is assassinated. It's time for round two, Smithy is fast, he'll find a slow, and he is furious to find another kill. But pulled back in, Sven gonna get him back out. Looking for the re-engage, Smoothie, gonna stun, Bjergsen gonna flash away. Bjergsen tries to kill him, won't just do it yet. Ignite is on, and he is low. Rek'Sai, if he lanes a Q, can kill double lift. Smoothie's going down. Tremendous. Tremendous early game victory for Team Liquid.
This cross map play is incredible and they want more! The cleanse gets rid of the slow, there's the push forward and double up on a killing spree! A fight that goes the right way will push people down. The question is, can they find those margins? Can they find that opening? So far, TSM has outmaneuvered. Sven! Sven. No quick silver sash. It's Sven sitting alone inside his base. Bjergsen's gonna fall. The rest of his team is gone. Team Liquid tie the record. It's three LCS titles in a row. They are the super team. Backs against the walls. Team 